CBS 46 News presents Public Affairs on Peach. Good Saturday morning, everyone. Welcome to Public Affairs on Peach. I'm Bobby Capel. Today, Public Affairs on Peach ventures into the world of science, specifically the Atlanta Science Festival. And in order to talk science, we brought in the co-founder and co-director of the Atlanta Science Festival, Mesa Salida. Here to kick things off today, we got a wild show for you. Hi, Mesa, Bobby. thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. All right, so tell us about this festival. It's been going on for several days now, but the big culmination is today at Centennial Olympic Park at 11 o'clock. It is. So we've spent the last 10 days with 100 events all throughout the metro region. We've had uh, looking at the stars at night. We have rapped about climate change. We last night I ate a cricket cookie. Oh, uh, so what we're does doing, that mean? Like you literally ate a it cookie. It was with a, a chocolate chip cookie that um, was made with cricket flour. Cricket? F what does that mean? Uh, ground up crickets. Oh, yeah. And how was it? They have a lot of protein. It was delicious. Yes. Um, That's what they so always say about insects. A lot of protein. Yeah, a, a lot more protein. B12, folic acid, all the stuff that our bodies need. Are you uh, gonna include it in your diet regularly now? I don't know. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a stepping stone to. Uh, Full-size crickets. Tell me about the STARS program. So you guys got out uh, Yeah, so we, um, you know, we're at 65 locations across the metro region. So this is one of our farther locations at Hard Labor Creek State Park. And we were at the observatory there and looking at the STARS. Um, we had the guy rapping about climate change. And what do you mean, rap, like literally rapping? Like, like <laughs> yes, yeah, beatbox yeah, rapping? Yeah. <laughs> what did he have to say in his um, Well, you know, it's, uh, the outlook's not good. No, but, um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, uh, let's talk about uh, the fact that you actually started this four years ago. What made you decide to do this and, and bring it here to Atlanta? Well, I think that Atlanta has a lot of amazing science happening, and we didn't have a spotlight on that. So the Science Festival really shines the light on everything that's happening here at our universities, at the companies we have, through the programs that people develop, as well as the people who are exhibiting at the expo, which you'll see today. I'm sure lots of kids love going to these things. Kids and adults, Great for too. parents, Yeah, too. I mean, we, we have things for kids, like... Um, uh, hands-on demo days, uh, and then we also have things like sour beer, uh, science of sour beer at Orpheus for adults. So there's all sorts of things going on. Very interesting. All right, well, let's talk about hands-on. The Exploration Expo is what we were referring to is today. There are some hands-on things you can do there. Not just some, hundreds. Hundreds. Yeah. Let's, let's pick a few <laughs> All right, and let's so talk about uh, Google is there. They've got a gravity-powered car uh, for what us does to that look mean? at. Um, <laughs> well, you got to come to the festival okay, to find out. Right. So uh, you'll see them today. You'll see Delta there um, showcasing the engineering behind their uh, airplane parts, the engines, and the landing gear. Um, we've got all sorts of universities there. You can touch a brain. Uh, yeah, yeah, if you've never touched oh, one, there, never there will be one. a. Uh, you'll see some later today on the show, but as well at the park, uh, we will have some reptiles for you to hang out yeah, with. Yeah, in fact, coming up next, we've got uh, snakes in studio. We've got um, lizards and cockroaches. Mean, we've got all kinds of stuff, and we'll show them all to you here in, in just a few minutes. Um, let's talk about uh, people get scared of the word science um, sometimes. It, it does have a big impact on our life. Does it not? Absolutely, and that's what the Science Festival is here for. You know, we're trying to show people that science is part of everyday life. That's why we have events that connect science to things like beer um, that people dr enjoy drinking. So uh, you can really see by going to different events that science is really connected to everything that goes on in the world. Yeah, this table we're sitting at, this was yeah, science. This Somebody made this up. These, same thing, <laughs> well, to a lesser extent, but either. Um, tell me about the STEM push. Uh, it's going on in a lot of schools right here in the metro Atlanta area. You see it. Um, how is that impacting the future of science and people that will be going into that field? Sure. So STEM is uh, science, technology, engineering, and math. And not only are these subjects important for the, the future and the jobs that will come up in the future, but also just the skills you learn, the um, learning how to do critical thinking. All these things that you learn in the STEM fields are really important for any job that you take. What's your background? How did you get into science? What I, tickled your fancy? Uh, well, I fell in love with chemistry very early on, and I followed my dreams and I uh, got a PhD in chemistry. Wow. Yeah. What was the most interesting part of that journey? Uh, you know, I really loved this. It sounds kind of silly, but I, I thought chemistry was so beautiful and um, the colors. I th and I think you'll see some of the colors of chemistry later today in the show as well. Um, I, it's just incredible. It's amazing. It's, this is nature. Very cool. All right, quickly, uh, before we go to the break here, I want to hear a, a couple of your memories over the last few years since you've seen this thing grow. What, what's been the best part about it? Um, oh, gosh. I think uh, 
the diversity that I see at the festival every year is incredible in age, in uh, gender, color, everything um, is, is amazing. But I'll never forget our first year uh, when people didn't know about us and we opened the doors at the expo because we had to move inside for the rain. And it was just throngs of people, like all just like climbing over each other to get at science. I mean, it's amazing. Very, very cool. All right, one more time, give people uh, the way to get there uh, today. It's the Exploration Expo at 11 o'clock. It uh, starts at 11 to 4. It's free at Centennial Olympic Park. All right, there you go. Uh, all right, coming up, take a look at this. We have uh, just promised it the reptiles that are waiting for their close ups. Oh, we don't have the pictures of them yet, but you'll see them after the break right here on Public Affairs on Beach.